Can producing high-end leather products on a kitchen table turn into a cash cow? So my name's Spencer Odo. I'm 22. I live here in Austin, Texas, and I'm the owner of Broken Axe Leather Company. Spencer's leather wallets, belts, keychains, and patches raise the bar on quality. He makes them, markets them, and sells them to stores and customers across the country. You're wearing all the hats. You know, you're the person that's doing all the shipping. You're reaching out to companies. You're doing cold calls, cold emails. You're the one buying the raw materials, producing the finished goods. In this episode of The Hustle, we'll see how Spencer demonstrates the entrepreneurial mindset with four qualities, creativity, initiative, resilience, and adaptability. Starting your own business means ups and downs. Having the right mindset and working hard helps you stand out from the herd. I don't think a lot of people realize how much time it takes you know, a lot of people are like, I'm gonna quit my nine to five to be an entrepreneur, but it's you're quitting a nine to five to work 24 seven. How did Broken Axe get started? I've always been interested in leather goods. Uh, and there's been a couple companies out in San Antonio that were doing a similar thing, but you know, the prices were outrageous. And I was like, man, I can buy an entire sheet of leather for what they charge for one wallet. And so I went home, started watching some YouTube videos and I was like, you know, I think I could do this. Starting off took guts and creativity. A creative mindset uses imagination, problem solving, and curiosity to explore what's possible. In business, creativity unlocks all kinds of ideas. It's the difference between buying an expensive wallet or buying a sheet of leather to make your own. If you're in the discovery stage, or if you're trying to figure out your first business idea, keep your eyes open. A creative mindset can go a long way. Don't wait. Like, start now. It doesn't matter if you can't see the end. Like, if you can see the next step in front of you, just take that next step. Cutting strips and beveling edges is right up Spencer's alley. Before he knew it, his products were selling at pop-up markets. As I kept selling and selling, I would purchase better tools, which would in turn enable me to make better products. Spencer's products were improving, but getting them to the right customers took another part of the entrepreneurial mindset, initiative. Initiative means seizing opportunities, building your network, and being proactive about what your business needs to grow. If you have a business, nobody cares about it as much as you do. So don't wait for things to happen. Be bold and introduce yourself. So one day I was downtown San Antonio. They have this high-end men's store that sells um, high-end boots, jeans, suits. And I just approached the, the manager of the store and I was like, hey, uh, I just started doing leather goods not that long ago. I think the product that I have would work really well in your store and, and bode really well with your customers. Sure enough, a couple weeks later, I had a meeting with the owner, showed him the product, and they loved it. Seeing his belts and wallets beside pricey boots was a huge win, and Spencer's initiative didn't stop there. Today, I sell my product in three different modes. So I sell person to person at pop-up markets, I sell online through my e-commerce store, and then my largest stream of income right now is through wholesale clients. The market for leather goods is crowded. To break into it, Spencer needed something that's bread and butter for entrepreneurs, resilience. Resilience means pushing through setbacks, learning from mistakes, and pursuing goals with determination. The name Broken Axe Leather Company came out of a trip camping out in the mountains in Colorado. It was really cold. We were chopping a lot of wood, broke like three axes and found a broken axe in the woods. So an axe doesn't just break after the first swing. It takes thousands of thousands of swings. So it's all about persistence. And you know, that's what I'm all about. That's what the company is all about. You have to be able to take rejection while doing this. You know, uh, if you're going to reach out to 100 people, 10 of them are going to respond. The other 90 are not. You're going to have to be OK with that. You're going to have to be OK with walking into somebody's office and saying, hey, here's what I do. Here's what I can do for your business. And they're like, sorry, we're not interested. Without Spencer's persistence, nobody would know about his products. We just stepped outside and Spencer brought out a lot of goods that he sells at Broken Axe Leather Company. Spencer, walk us through what we have here. Sure, yeah. So we've got a few different styles of walls that I make and sell. Uh, Catch-all trays, our custom-made hats, different types of keychains, belts, and a couple just one-off uh, wallets here. I really want to get into it. Can you show me how to make some of these things? Let's make a belt. All right, I'm excited. Walk me through the process. For sure. All right, so this is a draw knife. So this is what is going to enable us to cut a straight strip. Now we'll take the belt blank with our traced pattern on it, line everything up, and punch out the end of it here. And now we'll cut out the uh, middle section for the belt buckle to actually come through. Oh, dang, that is. <laughs> Did I go through? No. Oh, wow. About halfway there. There you go. Oh, man, halfway. you got to put a ton of force yeah. in that. So now uh, we're going to take what's called an edge beveler, and we're going to bevel all the edges. 
Now we need to finish these edges. So I'm gonna take a die pin here, and it's just basically got a lot of leather die in it. And it's just gonna give a really nice finish edge look. Right. We're gonna go ahead and put on the buckle. That looks like it's about tight enough right there. So just line it up. Help us get a nice straight cut. And there we go. We've got a uh, new belt for Aldo here. That's awesome. There you go, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Spencer's a master. He keeps a careful eye on how much he spends on time, labor, and materials. Focusing on products that customers buy earns him a good return on his time and keeps his profit margins high. But getting there took trial and error. So this was about two years down the line. Oh, it's gosh, really thick. Yeah. The edges don't look very refined. The stitching's not super straight and crisp, whereas you know now it's super thin, super a crisp, lighter. a lot lighter. Feels better in the pocket and hand. Yeah. There's also been a couple styles similar to it that I've tried out, you know, that haven't quite worked out. So I personally really love the design, but I put it, <laughs> I put it out in the market and nobody was buying it, you know. Um, so you know, people talk, money talks, and right. if they're not buying it, I don't waste my time on it. I try something else. This brings up the last trait of the entrepreneurial mindset adaptability. Taking your first idea to a product people can buy is a long process. To get there, you need to adapt. That means staying flexible, making changes based on feedback, and reevaluating your plans and strategies to be successful. From wallets and patches to leather keychains made from scraps, adaptability is a big part of Spencer's game plan. This goes hand in hand with the other traits, being creative, taking initiative, and staying resilient. Altogether, the entrepreneurial mindset is a quadruple threat. In a hands-on business, it's one way to have a tougher hide. Yeah, the hustle is, you know, it's everything that I'm doing with this business. It's, you know, getting with clients, it's, you know, staying up late, making the products, getting up early for shows, you know, going on and uh, just trying to really put myself out there and make it uh, successful. With big wholesale orders and great customer reviews, Spencer is expanding his operation to keep the leather goods coming. So what did we learn from Spencer today? To survive the hustle of starting a business, you need the entrepreneurial mindset. Creativity opens the doors for problem solving, innovation, and great product ideas. Initiative gets those ideas to the next stage. And with any luck, stores and customers. Resilience gives you and your business the strength for the inevitable setbacks and helps you get back up after being knocked down. Through it all, survival and success takes adaptability making changes based on what works and replicating it for yourself and your customers. As Spencer found out, with the right mindset, there's profits to be had in every stitch. Well, you guys, that wraps up this episode of The Hustle. I wanna give a huge thank you to Spencer for showing us all about his business, for getting us down to Austin, Texas, and for showing you guys what being an entrepreneur is all about. Make sure to like this video. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. As always, if you are an entrepreneur, let us know about your business and maybe next time I'll be interviewing you. I'm gonna get my butt out of the Texas heat because I am sweating as you guys can see, but I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching The Hustle. To make sure you don't miss out on any more videos like this, please subscribe at PragerU.com today. And if you wanna learn more about business, visit PragerUKids.com to download worksheets, lesson plans, and more.